In today's video, we'll be doing a full comparison between Jarvis AI and Copy AI. Now, these are both AI copywriters that you can use to write short and long form copy. We'll be looking at a couple key metrics such as price, features, quality of the AI output, and just the overall effectiveness of both AI copywriters. Both of these tools are AI copywriters, so essentially, you're able to write a lot of different forms of copy using both of these tools. Now, Jarvis AI is one of the leaders in the AI copywriting space. It's one of the most popular AI copywriters and it offers a lot of features. Now, Copy AI is sort of a newer AI copywriter. They do offer a lot of features that you can find on Jarvis, but they offer it for a lower pricing. So we're gonna go ahead and look at both of these AI copywriters to see if Copy AI is a much better option compared to Jarvis. So right off the bat, we see two different sort of pricing plans when we compare Jarvis to Copy AI. Now, Copy AI offers a free plan. So that's $0 per month. You don't even need to put in a credit card. So on the free plan, you'll get 10 credits and 100 bonus credits for the first month. And if you wanna go ahead and get the Pro, then the Pro would be $35 per month and this gets you unlimited credits. So for unlimited credits, that means you can run as much copy as you like and you wouldn't have to worry about being charged uh, for any additional copy because it's all unlimited. So that's $35 per month. Now, if we head over to Jarvis, we can see that their pricing structure is a little different. There is no unlimited plan on Jarvis. Now there used to be, but unfortunately there isn't anymore. So on the starter plan, you'll have access to all of the templates on Jarvis except the long form assistant. So that means you'll be able to write a lot of short form copy such as headlines, tweets, product descriptions, so on and so forth. And for 20,000 words per month, you would get um, that for $29 per month. Now, if you wanted to get access to the long form assistant, which allows you to write long form copy such as blog posts, um, eBooks, essays, and any other sort of long form content, then you would need to get the boss mode, which starts at $59 for 50,000 words. So obviously we can see that Copy AI is a lot cheaper compared to Jarvis AI. But when it comes to an AI copywriting software, a cheaper price shouldn't be the only reason why you go ahead with one of these tools. The quality of the output that you get is what really matters. So let's go ahead and take a look at Jarvis AI and Copy AI to see what sort of quality we can expect from both softwares. We'll leave a link below this video in which you can get a free trial for Copy AI and Jarvis AI, so you can also try them out for yourselves to see which one you like better. Now, once you sign up for your Copy AI account, right on the left-hand side here, we can see their different tools. Now, these are the templates that you have access to in Copy AI. So we can see product descriptions, um, we can see website copy, we can see sales copy, so on and so forth. So we do have a lot of different copy in which we can choose from. And similarly on Jarvis, when we sign up for the boss mode, we have access to all of the different templates. Now, if you are on the starter plan, you'll have all of these templates except the long form assistant. So as you can see, I would say it's pretty comparable in terms of features. Um, and in terms of templates that you have access to. Now, the main reason why I, and I think why most people use an AI copywriter is to write long form copy, um, specifically blog post. So let's go ahead and use the long form templates in both Copy AI and Jarvis. So to get started, I'm going to head over to blog post and this is where I can start getting some content for my blog post. So the blog topic in which we'll be writing about today is how to set goals and actually achieve them in 2022. So if you're watching this, it is the beginning of the new year. Um, so this is a blog post that I think would be pretty relevant. So let's go ahead and copy this and we're gonna head back over to Jarvis. And in Jarvis, we're going to use the long form assistant. Now the long form assistant is where you create blog posts and other long form content. And instead from starting from scratch, we're gonna go ahead and use the blog post workflow. Now what this does is we just describe the content as we did with Copy AI and we should get some outputs from Jarvis. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and run both Copy AI and Jarvis to see what sort of titles we get. Let's go ahead and take a look at the titles. 15 simple steps to achieve your goals faster in 2022. The five step process to create anything you want in 2022. Five strategies to help you build an eight figure business. 
Okay, pretty good titles. Let's see what Jarvis um, has given us. Goals of the future, how to set goals and actually achieve them by 2022. Goals for 2022, how to set goals and actually achieve them. So for both AI outputs, we got pretty decent titles. Um, there's really not much that could really separate them. I mean, it's just a title. So let's move on into the actual meat uh, and potatoes of the blog post so we can really start evaluating the quality of content. So in order to use the long form uh, template on Copy AI, you just wanna go ahead and follow the instructions here. So essentially what you do is you create each section one by one. So you do the title, then you do the outline and so on and so forth. And you just follow this. And by the end, you should have a full blog post. Now it's a little different when you're using Jarvis um, and when you're using the blog post workflow. Once you create your title, um, you just choose whichever one you wanna go ahead with. So let's say we wanna go ahead with goals for 2022, how to set them and actually achieve them. Um, next will be an intro paragraph. So we're gonna click generate intro paragraph and we're gonna sort of get started with creating these blog posts. <clears throat> so Copy AI wants us to do an outline right now, but just so we can start comparing apples to apples, I'm gonna go ahead and do the intro first. So we're now on the blog intro, 15 simple steps to achieving your goal faster in 2022. So we've gone ahead and we've used the blog post intro template and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to describe the content. So in this blog post, we'll be showing you how to set your goals and actually achieve them in 2022. And this is the title that we've chosen. So let's go ahead and create copy. So let's go ahead and compare the output that we got from Copy AI and Jarvis. So for the introduction, I like to think of goals as setting the foundation of achieving almost any, anything you want in life. Da -da -da, short term, midterm goals. Okay, so this is pretty good. I do like how they used I, so it's more personable. The number of reasons why people fail to achieve their goals is pretty simple. They don't set them themselves. The good news is there are plenty of people just like you who don't write down their goals. Okay, that one's okay. This one's okay. A little short for my liking. Oh wow, this is pretty good. So this one, this is also a pretty good output. And as you can see, we got a lot of outputs here from Copy AI, which is pretty good. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the intro paragraphs that we got from Jarvis. So do you ever find yourself setting goals for the new year only to ban them after a few weeks? Yes, it's time to stop making excuses and start living your life. Setting goals is important, helps you stay on track. As the year 2022 is important to start thinking about your goals for this coming time period. Okay, so as you can see, we get some pretty decent content from both AI copywriters. Personally do like Jarvis a little bit better because it's a little bit more relatable. So for instance, do you ever find yourself setting goals for, for the new year only to abandon after a few weeks? I think many people can attest to that. But I also like how um, they used I within um, Copy AI because you'll find a lot of AI copywriters don't actually use the first person when writing. And another reason why I think Jarvis had better outputs was because it was more focused on the topic. So as we can see, if we scroll down to some other inputs, it talks about helping achieve your dreams in three or five years and things like that. So the AI, while it gave us some pretty good content, it went a little astray in terms of what we we're writing about. But um, in Jarvis, it was sort of spot on in terms of what the article is all about. So once you find an intro paragraph that you like the best, you wanna go ahead and click use this one. And now your setup is complete with Jarvis and you wanna open editor. Now this is where you'll be able to write all of your subtopics, your outlines, your paragraphs, and everything else that's needed to complete your blog post. And once we find the intro paragraph that we like the best on Copy AI, we just go ahead and copy and paste it into our document here. Uh, and then we're going to remove everything else. So as you can see, we are starting to sort of formulate and build our blog post. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is do a blog outline. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the blog outline template. And I like how it saved our title and it saved our description as well here. So we're going to go ahead and create copy uh, on copy AI and see what sort of outline we get. Now to create your outline on Jarvis, it's a little different. In order to create an outline on Jarvis, you wanna head over to the power mode and then you head over to blog post outline. And similarly to copy AI, we need to describe our content so how to set goals and actually achieve them in 2022. We're gonna leave our tone of voice uh, to convincing and then we're gonna generate AI content. So let's go back over to Copy AI. 
and this is the outline that we're getting for our blog post okay so this one was a little bit um, I think too general but this one sort of takes us into a linear more sort of step-by-step -step, um, outline which is what we're looking for for this blog post so step one write your goals down decide what you want and what you don't want okay okay so we're getting some okay content here they can definitely be improved and I do see that there's a lot of sort of irrelevant uh, content that we're getting here from copy AI but let's go back over to Jarvis um, how to set goals and actually achieve them so make a list of the things you want to achieve break down each goal into smaller more manageable steps create a timeline for completing each review your progress yeah so this is really really good and if we scroll down we can see some really really good outlines here that we're getting from Jarvis so Jarvis was definitely spot on in terms of our blog post outline and in terms of the topics that we need to finish up this blog post. So let's go ahead and go through Copy AI and find a output that works well for us. As you can see, as you scroll down a little bit more, um, we do get some pretty decent output, but again, we get a lot of irrelevant content here. I'm not sure where that's coming from. I think it's because the AI is still sort of learning. So um, we don't get as much sort of focused um, and relevant content as I would like to get. But that's okay, so let's go ahead and um, I think this one is pretty good. So we'll take these sections right here and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in the outline section. So let's go ahead and start creating some content for our body paragraphs and our title. So on Jarvis, it's pretty easy to do this. All you need to do is copy whatever you're writing about and we're going to paste it in the content description or brief at the left hand side. So I'm going to give the AI a prompt in order to achieve your goals. You must make sure that your goals are because I do find you get some better content when you sort of prompt it and start the sentence and let the AI finish the rest of content. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to change my output link to long and I'm going to click compose. So as you can see, the AI uh, continues writing our sentence for us. So make sure your goals are realistic and achievable. This means setting goals that are challenging, but still within your reach. Okay, very nice. Creating a goal list is a great way to start off the new year. It can help keep you accountable throughout the year. So that's pretty good content for our first subtopic here. So let's go ahead and start getting some blog section content from Copy AI. So the first section outline that they gave us was to write down your goals. So I'm gonna go ahead and merge our section with the title just, um, just so we can get some better output. A rule of thumb is when you're using any AI content writer, the quality of the input that you give it really does mirror the quality of the output that you get. So you want to make sure that you're giving as much information as you can, especially when you have a section that just talks about write down your goals. So I'm going to go ahead and click create content and let's see what sort of content we get from copy AI. Okay, so let's go ahead and read through these outputs. So this is a little bit of a setup here. So as you can see, we get some content here that sort of sets up the paragraph. But when we look into the actual content, this is actually pretty decent. It talks about why it's important for you to write down your goals. It's a physical manifestation of your desire. There's no going back in it. Da, da, da. If we scroll down again, why should you write down your goals? Makes you more likely to achieve them. And I do like how we get some more actionable content here as well. So that's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this right here. And I'm going to put this into the first body paragraph. So let's go ahead and do one more body paragraph just to see how these two AI copywriters stack up against each other. But for this one, I'm going to use the same title to see which one gives us better blog section content. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, so we're going to use the title of keeping yourself accountable by telling your friends and your family about your goals. Okay, so I've updated all of the content description and I've given the AI a prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and click compose and see what sort of content we get. So on copy AI, I'm going to do the same description that we did in Jarvis and let's see what sort of content we get. I'm going to create copy. Okay, so let's go ahead and read through these um, outputs that we got. So have you ever wanted to do something but you just seem to get started, blah, blah, blah. Telling your friends is the first step to achieving this goal. It says telling, but I think it means telling your friends and family. The key is to start making a co commitment and telling someone about it. So I do like how it sort of breaks down telling your friends telling your partner, telling your coworkers, things like that. That's pretty cool. So have you ever decided one of the most important aspects of achieving your goals is to share them with your friends. You must tell them your goals. You need to understand that they are part of the achievement process with you. Okay. 
So again, we get a lot of content here and pretty good um, content as well from Copy AI. So let's head back over to Jarvis to see what sort of output we got for this title. So telling your friends and family about your goals helps because it will ask because it'll keep you accountable by asking how it's going. This makes accomplishing goals much more manageable since there's always someone willing to lend an ear in case of problems that do arise. <clears throat> when it comes down to it, telling your loved ones about your goals is a great way to keep on track while making sure that others are aware of what you're trying to achieve. So as we can see, we get some decent content here from both Copy AI and Jarvis. I would say that again, Jarvis gave us a little bit uh, better content uh, just because it was a little bit more focused. Um, while I do like what we got from uh, Copy AI, I do think that a lot of it was a little bit irrelevant to what we're writing about. I would say for this example, we got pretty decent outputs from Copy AI and from Jarvis, but I would say that Jarvis does get a little bit of a leg up. And one of the main reasons is that it's just very easy to use. When I'm using Copy AI, I have to sort of follow this template and then I have to put um, the copy that I like and then have to erase the ones that I don't like. Um, it's very fragmented and it's, I can see how as a beginner, it would be a little bit harder for you to really grasp how to get good quality content. Jarvis AI does a really good job at making their AI copywriter very easy to use. So if you just follow the long form assistant, you'd be able to create your content very easily because you just describe the content, you move on to the next step, and then it gives you a nice template in which you can use to start creating your content. So that's something that I really don't like about Copy AI. <clears throat> I do think that it makes creating long form content a little bit more tedious than it has to be. But something that I really like from Copy AI is the ability to have different outputs and to be able to read through them and choose whichever one you like the best. As we saw on Jarvis, we don't really have a choice in terms of the content that we get. Once we click the compose button, the AI just sort of starts writing and then we don't really have a choice in terms of what output we like. So I really do like that feature uh, from Copy AI, just the ability to read through different variations in terms of what content we like and use whichever one is most relevant for our blog post. So to wrap things up, I do think in terms of quality of output, Jarvis still has a leg up compared to Copy AI. The reason is I think Jarvis has been out for a little longer, so the AI is smarter and more advanced. So that means you do get a lot of content that's more relevant when you're using Jarvis AI. If you're new at using AI copywriters, and if you're not very tech savvy, then ease of use is definitely better on Jarvis AI. The user interface of Jarvis AI is really, really user friendly and very easy to use. The templates are really well made and it makes it very easy for you to create content, whether it be long or short form content. So for ease of use, as of right now, I would have to give it to Jarvis as well. Now for pricing. For $35 per month, Copy AI is definitely the better option when you look at the pricing models um, between Jarvis and Copy AI. Jarvis currently does not have an unlimited plan, so that is a little bit of a drawback, especially if you're writing a lot of content, because the more you write, the more you have to pay for Jarvis. And you do give up some of the quality and the features that you get from Jarvis AI. But if you're on a tight budget, then Copy AI is definitely a good option. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you now find the AI copywriter that's best suited for you and your business. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials in the near future.